imagine the toughest game atmosphere. Now imagine if that was the only basketball you ever knew. Like growing up in New York, you'd either be forced to quit or adapt. So be grateful for the times that are too hard to handle and seek to have as many of those moments as you can find. There's working to improve, and then there's working to showcase your prowess. Both are eventually needed for the top tier athlete, but the showcase must come much after. Work hard to build your fortune before cashing out your chips. The showcase period is when you stop improving. There's a time for this, but that time is not eighth grade or earlier. Yabba dabba do no 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 I was just checking out some new intros that is not a good one I I, I need an intro seriously the one that I've been doing has been a stolen one from Martin Lawrence um, that one was from um, Fred Flintstone I don't know if kids know him any, anymore but he was an old um, um, Stone Age um, fat guy 
okay? John Goodman-esque. All right. Um, yes. But anyways, welcome to Limitless Soups. Uh, it's the show that keeps on popping day after day after day after day after day. Um, but um, that might change soon. And I'll talk about that in a second. But welcome, welcome. What's up, Kieran and Declan Louth? If you're here in the comment section, please let me know so I don't feel alone in this space of mine. All right? I mean... It does get lonely sometimes, but it also gets lonely on the road to greatness, and you just have to be used to it, which is why um, I think, like, basketball, baseball, football, hockey, and, like, tennis, and golf, and all the sports, they are full of, um, I want to use the right word, they are full of extremely confident individuals, borderline cocky individuals, all right? They have um, their own set of swag, as you will, right? What up, Connor Rush? I, and uh, what I've noticed is this. I, I used to say this in, back in college, too. Because I got on the elevator. Oh, well, first of all, I noticed my own teammates. And I'm like, a lot of my teammates are full of themselves. Then I noticed the football team o over there in the corner. And they're, like, so loud. Then I got on an elevator one time. I see some baseball player guy that I, that, that I know. And I was like... He didn't say a word to me. And I was like, he knows me. He looked right at me. So after like maybe five seconds, I was like, hi. <laughs> and he's like, hey. And then turned back around. I was like, what the heck? So I figured it out. And it's that sports require um, a lot of confidence to be able to do them well. And you have to control that confidence and not be too cocky. But at the same time, each sport has its own form of cockiness. All right. So with baseball, I call it um, it's a uh, quiet cockiness, right? And because to to do baseball, you're either going to be doing it by yourself at a, in a batting cage, or you need a whole bunch of people. And in both both of those extremes, you kind of like lose who you are, I believe. Okay. And you 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 tend to run things like a sorority, or like like a sorority or a fraternity, where like it's like. If you're not in my group, you're not in it at all. Like that. Because you want to feel like you're a part of something to get away from the batting cages. The football players, they need so much aggression that they become a loud cocky. Where, like, you know the football group is in there. And as for the basketball group, we are very exclusively cocky. Where it's like, yeah, anyone can be a part of us, but you must be a part of us. You can't be over there playing soccer, over there playing. It's like you must do what, do what we do to be a part of our like little clique. And it's so funny how each group, and like t tennis has a posh sort of cockiness where it's like I'm like, you know, walking with my head held high and I'm like basically like, like the Queen of England. It's so weird. I just thought about that. And yeah, so what kind of cocky do you need to be to present yourself? Whatever kind of cocky it is, make sure that, that you're not going overboard. Like Noah Masseth, what's popping? I don't want to go overboard like Noah Masseth. You can't just talk crap to every single person all the time, all right? Also build them up. Figure that part out. Make it a fun sort of like razzing as opposed to just being mean. I don't care how people treat you, all right? So figure out what kind of cocky that, that you need to be. What, how you need to change things to like reach your ultimate goals. All right? Like maybe Kieran needs to be a little, little bit more like loud cocky. All right? Maybe um, Connor needs to be a little, little bit more like um, brash cocky like um, Russell Westbrook is, okay? Where he just like jumps into people and like and has like fun like um, hitting people, thing, things like that. All right? So figure those things out in life. I, I just think it's pretty interesting and I love the mental aspect of basketball. So that's why I say it. All right. Um, let's move on. Let's start with our workouts. No, 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 no. Rewind. I always forget about the headlines. The headlines. All right, we got our daily challenges, right, to talk about. All right, our daily challenge today, um, I think we talked about, about the ninth grade one yesterday where it was take on day 22 of the homework assignment. All right, um, the 10th grade one is take on or continue with day 14 of the 21-day challenge, challenge that is mastery. A set of 10 drills designed to improve your overall game. So if you're a 10th grader, this is what you should be doing today. Unless you're going to be like, nah, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that, coach. I'm not doing that. So if that, if that is you, don't do it. I don't care. 
Oh my God, and why are you using that voice? You don't even sound like that. All right, but if you are doing it, it's um, day 14 of the 21 Days of Mastery. You go to our school section, scroll down, and then click on the challenges right here. And then you look at all the different challenges, and then you're going to get to one that says the, says the drills. And right here, it's, it's under mastery. These drills will improve your overall game. All right, there's the shot shop, 10-minute drill, dribbling dojo, fast class, dunk school, and then there's mastery. Right here, when you click on mastery, it brings up a red piece of paper. I right, and oh man, you know what? Look, this is how, nor how, how, how nerdy I am. All right, this is not a trivia question, but answer it if you know. Okay, so there's shot shop, right? 10-minute drill, dribbling dojo, fast class, dunk school, and then mastery. So when you look at them, this one's red with green outline. Like if you look really close, this is a green outline. This one is purple with a yellow outline. This one's orange with a blue outline, green with a red outline, blue with a orange outline, and then yellow with a purple outline. Does anyone know why I paired those colors together? Or was it just random? I don't know. But yeah, I forgot all about this. I did this so many years ago. Random. Anyway, let me know in the comment section if you know why I paired those colors together. And I'll tell you if you're right. All right, but for mastery, for the 10th graders, you're going to make or shoot 21 layups or floaters. All right, and when I told you guys about that little kid who was like the chubby little kid who's like, I did your 21 day challenge, coach. And I was like, no, you didn't, dude. If you did it, show me um, 21 fingertip push-ups. And he just totally dropped down and just did them. I was like, oh, crap, third grader. Who, who, who could do that? And then the whole rest of the practice, he was on fire. That was the first one to ever do this workout. And this was the workout. This was our first workout that we ever made. And it was just the 21-day challenge. Um, I just put it together. I didn't know if it would, would actually work. But it totally worked. And anyone that did this got good so fast. And it was, it's pretty easy. So if, the, if our challenges are hard for you, this one's easy, but it's a 21-day challenge. If you want to start it today, you can do it. Or if you've been doing it and you're a 10th grader, then you should be on day 14. All right? Make or shoot 21 layups or floaters. Make or shoot. Again, you can choose. Make or shoot. So it can be easy if you just shoot them. Or you can just make this many. 21 jump shots. Or if, you know, if you're a great, you can just you know, do both at the same time. And just never, never ever miss. Tw for, for, perform 21 push-ups or fingertip push-ups, total or consecutively. Uh, make or shoot 21 scissor jumpers. Uh, make or shoot 21 step back jumpers. Make or shoot 21 free throws. Make or shoot 21 three pointers. And then sprint to dunk or jump off the left, right, or both feet, 21 total um, or 21 each. And then make or shoot 21 fake spin jumpers. And then make or shoot 21 hesitation jumpers, which is a step back, hesitating crossover. All right. So it's just these for 21 straight days. And oh, yeah, I wish I, I, wish I would do something like this. You, I would literally be on fire. Well, what, what would I choose, the makes or the, or the shots? I would definitely choose the shots because that, that tells you how much longer to shoot. So anyway, no one answered. These colors are complementary colors. All right, Red is complementary to green. If you didn't know that, you're so lame, dude. All right, anyways, moving on. We got, uh, besides our daily challenge, um, 4 p.m. What do you guys think about this? All right, what do you think about this? Please let me know if it's possible. I'll ask some people in person as well. Could we switch the showtime to 4 p.m.? Because in my overall scheme of things, Bulls colors for Jordan because he's the master. Well, no, they didn't have green. I just told you, it's complimentary colors. All right, anyways, could we switch the program to 4 o'clock mountain time? I At first, I chose 5, 5 o'clock because I wanted West Coast, East Coast, all to be able to watch the show. But now I got to avoid like certain times. There's only so many hours in the day. If I want 16 teams, there's going to need to be a 5 o'clock hour that is in heavy use. The 4 o'clock hour is for our 3 to 5-year-olds. We can skip. They they can skip the show or just watch it the day before. So I want to switch these shows to 4 o'clock, but I don't know if everyone just gets off school at like 4. I have no clue what time you guys get off school. So let me know in the comment section what time you guys get off school and if it's even possible to do the show at 4 o'clock. And yeah. And don't forget that I'm going to back things up a bit so I can, like, explore to see how many people that we can get to actually watch this show and to get to come into all our workouts because we, so we have to make less days. I, I just read an article about how teens working out less actually will help their bodies more. And, yeah, some things in life are actually like that. And, you know, I'm all about hard work and things like that. But sometimes, especially for this right now, I think I'm going to have to um, back up to get people coming to a certain day. So if I make this show Monday, Wednesday, Friday only, 
maybe we'll get more people, people to watch it. Maybe people feel like it's so many days. And I grew up watching um, I Love Lucy. It's this show. And I counted one time how many hours it came on in the week. It came on like 30-something hours a week because it was always in reruns. But the show was so popular, though. But I bet you when the show first started, it only came on once a week. And then people started loving it. And then they could add more days. So I think that's the route that we have to go. The I Love Lucy route. Um, four would work. Okay. Four should work. I get off school at 340. Okay. I get off school at 415. 415? What kind of school slave drivership do you go to, dude? 415? Dang. Well, maybe you can convince your whole class to do it. I am doing the five perfect weeks now. Nice job, Gavin Witt. All right. Um, so, yes, yeah, so four, four o'clock, we might experiment with that to see if it's possible. Again, you can always watch the reruns, but maybe if I do the four o'clock show, I can talk about the day's workout as opposed to the following days, too. So that would be like, it, it would make more sense. Um, it's a possibility. It's, it's, it's just something I'm tinkering with, but I think I want to go there. We'll see what happens with it. All right. I love this show. Tell them, tell them, man. Seventh period got to be this show. All right. Bring, bring this show to schools all around the world. It needs to be taught. It needs to be taught. Burr, burr, burr. All right. Um, Silver Hills. Okay. I, okay. I'll, I'll let them. I'll let them know. Let, yes. Switch schools. Yeah. If you're, if, that should be the only question that you ask a school that you are trying to attend. Are you showing limitless hoops during seventh period? Do you guys even have periods? I, I don't even know. No, not like that. All right, switch. Um, the monthly challenge. Who's still doing the scissor reps? I noticed Noah doing it. Are you getting better at it? Could you pull it off in a game? Hey, if you want to try this during open gym, go ahead. I think it would be hilarious. All right. Um, next up, we got our five perfect weeks. Who's still doing that? We'll check that during the homework section, but I think everyone's still in. You guys should be on... Week three, day two. All right, this is where it gets ridiculously hard. All right, hey, but you're ha you're like I think that's halfway. Yeah, you're exactly halfway. If you've done this so far, you're halfway. Now I can't count, so I might be way wrong, and I am probably wrong. Okay, because that's 14, 15, 16 days out of 35, which is not halfway at all. All right, it's 17 or 18. So you'll be at halfway on uh, Wednesday or, or I think Wednesday is your halfway point. You've almost made it to halfway. That's amazing. All right, keep going. Even if you messed up like once, and we talked about it before, messing up does include not having a jump rope. All right, messing up does include like, you know, just forgetting about it, doing du du double the next day. Yeah, I mean, perfect is perfect. All right, but everyone's imperfect on this one because no one got the actual helpers to help them do it. So we're all a little, little bit less than perfect on this one, but make sure that you're not the most less. And I think Kieran is still going. I think Kieran is probably the most perfect so far. Maybe Declan is too. I'm not really, really sure on that one. Well, but, but we'll check later on in the hour, in the half hour. All right, um, is that it? That is it. So let's move on. Yo, Austin Masseth, how's how's the leg doing, man, or the ankle? How's that doing? All right, now for our workout stuff, I went ahead and just combined them all. I mean, look, okay, we got all these now. We got all the, I can't, I don't even know where I'm pointing. We got all these now, and they're just all together now so that maybe I can, like, talk about, like, since if we go, if we do, do this show for Monday, Wednesday, Friday only, we might have to talk about Tuesday stuff eventually. But, again, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to retract it. I'm going to bring stuff together until we get like 30, 50, 100 million people watching the show on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then I'll start expanding to other days and it'll be the same show that we had before where it's every single day. And hopefully I have different um, people doing it by, by then as well. So hopefully this will be a little bit easier to digest. So for our elementary school, you guys for tomorrow... Again, we only do the, do the middle school stuff. Don't forget that. All right? But for all, all of you guys, you guys could be working on this stuff. In the meantime, spin move series, two on two on two triangle. Again, this would be for our, our, our practice stuff. Um, force pose to the middle, poly pyramid, zero to three seconds up by three, then 10 plus seconds down by three with, with free throws. So you're still, pr I bought a jump rope and did it, and I did a, and I did get a helper today. Oh, nice job. Way to get a helper. Who was your helper? But you have to get a helper every day of the week. Oh, my God. Forget it. Okay. Middle school stuff that we will be doing tomorrow um, is one-on-one -on -one cutthroat. Just plays on one-on-one. -on -one, three dribble max. Uh, when you do that stuff, attack. All right. We saw Tavion. He's new on our team. He does not know how to, how to attack. I told him, just go. 
go. I was like, dude, come on. I, I even told him, I was like, do, do you know that you're black? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. But I guess that's that was too racist for him. And he's like, I can't do it. I don't want to do this. So then Noah showed him what it was like. And he goes, now nah, I'm going to go. That's how you guys should be in games. You attack, you attack their feet, you step by their feet, you dribble beyond, and then you're just gone. All right, the best one at doing that in our whole program is pro probably Kieran. All right, we got we got to figure that stuff out. All right, be able to get right by our, by our man. All right, and then you will be great. In the play scenario, when I did the tangent stuff that we're going to work on, uh, oh yeah, Joey. Joey was doing some pop push-ups. I saw him do some pop push-ups. I totally saw that. All right. Um, um, then we have double post, double the post on on the dribble. Wait till they dribble to come double the post. We're not helping out the post nearly enough, especially for our size. All right. Our outlet passes and then miss free throws on purpose. We're gonna talk about all that stuff. Then ten plus seconds down by three with free throws. Stuff that we worked on last week. Swoop layup chase. We did not add the chase one, but we did do the swoop layup part. I might actually make tomorrow's um practice into a workout as well on tuesday since we have limited numbers i um it, which is again why i'm going to start canceling the tuesdays thursdays one starting in august because we can't do it without a lot of people it's a waste of time I, it's already a waste of time because i think that we should do, be doing workouts instead but without a lot a lot of people we're not really even expanding our team expectations so until we get our actual limitless hoops program started with the teams in place i think tuesdays and thursdays are kind of kind of even more of a waste all right so it's a it's not a waste if everyone comes we can learn all our plays learn everything like that and plus the players that that we have you guys aren't getting the stuff fast enough so i think we should just work do workouts so i'm talking about the stuff and then we're just doing workouts so i'm kind of like you know cheating the system a little bit just to help you guys out all right, um, so heads up for tomorrow and Thursday, Tuesdays and Thursdays will be more of workouts from from now on until we get our team back. All right, um, so again, athletic rebound and putback. We 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 did all this stuff during the actual workout, but, but we did it in smaller bits. All right, meet the post on the break. All out deny great players and miss free throws on purpose, and then ten plus seconds down by three. This is also what we're gonna do when we have all our teams too, at least once every three weeks, because there will be four teams. And I'm thinking of I'm thinking of it. If we only get like three three courts, that means that every Tuesday will be a scrimmage for for two of the four teams. But at the first 30 minutes of the practice will be all this stuff done in just five minute increments as opposed to 10 minutes. The last 30 minutes of the, of, of the practice will be done as a full court scrimmage with, with the team subbing and everything like that. Uh, he did the divine jump rope and the dribbling. Nice job. All right. Um, Let's move on. We got the quote of the day. Quote of the day is, inches make champions. Now, we talked about this one, and I even like recited the speech by um, Al Pacino, where he's like, this is the six inches in front of your face, one of the greatest, greatest, greatest speeches of all time. If you want to see that speech, it's actually on our website. All right. It's on our website under Limitless Soups, under the school section again, and then um, school section, and then you scroll down and where it says movie clips right here. You click on the movie clips and you can see all the different movies, like even like Ray has, has different clips from Cool, cool Runnings. And there's just small little like five minute, three minute clips of like amazing times, even like a Batman movie. Uh, and on these it's clips that have like changed my life, especially for like for, for basketball. And the one that I was talking about was from this movie right here, Any Given Sunday. All right. it, it was the halftime speech to the football team. It's about inches, man, because the inches that we need are all around us. And every break of the game, every minute, every second... Uh, and if you look into the man's, or if you look into the eyes of the man next to you, you're going to look into his eyes, you're going to see a man who will go that inch with you, All right, or something like that. It was pretty close, okay? Uh, but yes, it's this like the small mistakes, you can, and they add up. And I'm a stickler for that stuff. Like, as fancy as I try to get during games, I really care about each and every single possession. And I want a shot to get up, up on the rim. Even if you're like shooting it blindfolded, like don't turn the ball over. There's like different rules that I play. Every rebound that I go for is like all I need is like five for the game. And I just go for them, go for them, go for them. Every time that we defend, I don't want any open shots. If they've hit a shot over my hand, I'm like, cool, that's, that's just one. As long as they're all over my hand, it, it's, it's okay. And it's like the inches. And if you play the game and all you care about are like every single inch that, that you take, you're going to win. So it's like, a, it's like a boxing match where you're boxing, boxing, boxing. And all you're doing is just jabbing jabbing moving jabbing 
You just you just keep like just you just keep nudging him. Keep nudging him. You're not like knocking him out. You're not swinging too hard. You're just jabbing, jabbing. After a while, after all these jabs, and you guys feel him. You guys feel him. You guys like my form too, right? After a while, the tree's gonna fall. Because he can only take so many jabs, especially to the body and stuff like that. Eventually, he's gonna fall. Or even if he doesn't fall, you avoided so many and you and you connected on so many that you beat him on points. It's every single little bitty thing that adds up. So don't just jack up a shot for no reason. Make sure that's the best possible shot. You waste every single second that you can in the possession until you get your shot so that you have more time. I, you want a higher possession count. So if they have the ball, I mean, if you have a choice, if you have a choice in a 40-minute game, how many minutes would you want the ball on your side? Would you want it to be 30, 30 minutes for you and 10 minutes for them or 10 minutes for you and 30 minutes for them? Well... If they're taking out, I can't do the math. If, they, if, if they're taking 30 seconds to shoot and you're taking 10 seconds to shoot, that means if you keep doing that for the whole game, they're going to have the ball for 30 minutes and you're going to have the ball for 10 minutes. All right, well, let's separate those games. How about you get all your 10 minutes in a row? Every time that you miss, just check it back up and it's going to be your ball on offense for 10 straight minutes. Would you score more or less points than they would if they had the same thing for 30 minutes, of course they would score more points, probably. Right, unless you were like more than three times better. So realize the game is actually like that. Now you do need to push occasionally so you can like surprise them on defense and things like that and keep the pace and things like that. But you got to like make sure that when you do push it, it's a higher percentage shot. It's the highest percentage shot that you could possibly take. All right, so it's all the inches. And inches in the end make champions. All right. Um, let's go with our story of the day real quick. And then we'll have uh, some breaks and some other stuff, some pictures, check the homework, some trivia questions after this. Let's check out the story of the day. Watch it. When you win, say nothing. When you lose, say less. When you win, say nothing. When you lose, say less. I like that a lot. We were, um, Gavin's mom and I were just talking about that like this morning. It's crazy. I, this, I mean, these things don't write themselves, man. They're in the book already, but I, yeah, it just makes sense. And I was like saying, man, like um, Gavin and um, Noah, they were sprinting. And um, Gavin beat Noah every single time in the sprint. And I was like, I wish Gavin would talk trash. And she's like, oh, I'm glad he doesn't. I like the people that, 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 that are quiet. And I was like, so do I. But Noah is pushed more by people that talk trash. Like that. And she's like, oh, okay, I, I see what you're saying. But I love the people that are just stone cold quiet. It's so cool. All right? You had like a fadeaway half court shot for the win. And you're just like, boom. Like Dame Lillard, whatever. That's awesome, right? As opposed to Draymond Green, who is still talking to this day about their championship win as he's parading around texting everybody. <laughs> All right, it's two different things. But yeah, man, when you win, don't say much. When you win, say less. That'd be. I mean, when you lose, say say, say less. Wait, wait, wait how, how does it go? You know what I'm talking about. All right. So yes, um, I, I I do like the quiet ones. But again, you can decide what kind of cocky that you want to be. You can be either one. They both have their place in this in, in this world. But man, the the cold blooded assassins who are straight faced, they're just dope in my eyes. All right. Um, let's go to a quick commercial break. Then we'll come back with some trivia questions. Well, that didn't work at all. I think that the um, screen was blank. What's up with that, dude? Uh, I gotta fix my stuff, man. Don't worry about it. We didn't need to see that see that commercial anyway. I don't have any sponsors yet. I was just practicing the, the commercial. All right, but let's move on to our trivia question. Is the gym open today? I don't know is the answer. I think that's always, you know what? You can actually check their website, Sport Access. Google that, check their website, click on the calendar page. You can see who's in their gym at what time and when it's available. You want to make sure that it's 
not available, and that's when a team's in there, that's when you can go in there. So as long as someone's in there, the, the door should be open. Oh, I just told you some tricks right there. Sport Access. I don't know if it's sportaccess.com, but it's Sport Access. It's not Sports Access. Oh, wait. It's just Sport. Like one, one, like a, a single, a single whatever that's called. Singularity? I don't know what it's called. But anyways, moving on to our trivia question. Our trivia question today, picking a random one right this second, yeah. is... Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. We can do it. We can we can do one on that. All right. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. I'm looking up Wikipedia right now. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Here's the trivia question for the day: Is which college did George Mikan attend? That's the trivia question today. Which college did George Mikan attend? Now we got a five-five tie between Kiernan. And Connor, and we got um, Finn Kaufman with four points, Noah Massett with one, Austin Massett with one. Which college did George Mikan attend? George Mikan was the first superstar in the NBA. He was so big, so tall, that they had to space out the key. The key was shaped like a key before, and they were like, nah, dude, get that dude away. He went to Duke. Duke is right. He got it. No, it is. Duke is not right. Duke is not right. Nice guess. He, didn't, he was not a Dukey. He was not a dookie, all right? I mean, kind of close. There you go. There's the answer. He went to DePaul, and we got Kiernan by an inch right there. I told you, inches, the inches we need are all around us. Archbishop Quigley. That was really close. But, no, Kiernan and Declan Louth got it with um, DePaul. He went to DePaul, the DePaul Dynamites. Okay, I don't really know what DePaul's mascot is. Man, is it is it the Boilermakers, man? Is it is it like the Knights or something? Really, like what is DePaul's mascot? I I I, ha, I have no idea. DePaul is is it a devil? Oh, it's a blue demon. They're the blue demons. I did not even know that DePaul blue demons. Okay, I, I had no idea. But anyways, con congratulations, Kiernan. Uh, you are now leading. And how close are we to the end of the month? A long ways away. Ten more days. The Blue Demons, baby. All right, moving on. Let's check our homework real quick. Um, For the homework, who was that? Shots against Tavion, I think it was. Homework, the hurdles. Homework, scissor wrap day. There's hurdles for homework. Maybe it was from the workout. All right, great job posting, Noah, Noah Massa. Keep going, three minute jump rope. All right, um, week day, uh, day, day, wait, week three, day two, week three, day two. Hella shots, some Tavion, with thirty minutes of workouts for Connor Rush. Just throwing anything up there. Are we still doing it, in Declan and Kieran and Louth? You guys f further down the list, I think. All right, because Noah's posting a lot. But yeah, I'll, I'll check the rest out later on tonight. But anyways, great job, everybody. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Our last thing is a parade. Okay, here's another question about Limitless Hoops, okay? I've been following along with the NBA season more than I usually do because I'm I'm really focused on like trying to emulate it. All right, and um, you won't believe this. I don't know if I can find it. But um, in Moraga, the city that, I, that I'm from, I... They have um, they have a baseball team, all right? And their baseball team, they have a whole bunch of baseball teams, okay? And if you look at this, they all their baseball teams meet in this gym. They would take our gym time inside the gym, even though they're an outdoor sport, but whatever. And they each have, they, 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 they would all meet on this one day. But right before this, they would um, parade around the freaking town in, like, vintage cars and stuff like that. And they would get introduced with, like, cheerleaders and, like, go down with their, like, banners up. And people would wave to them on the sides of the road like a freaking parade. Can you believe this? I mean, what kind of losers do you have to be to be like that? So my question is... Do we want to be those kind of losers, guys? Seriously, I think it'd be kind of cool to just, um, I mean, that'd be kind of nice, right? Should we figure that out? Like, maybe just, like, in the gym, not, like, outside or anything like that, but just should we have, like, a parade for, like, the winning team? 
the team that like wins it all, like the varsity team, and everyone comes in and just like cheers for them. Everyone like a, like if they're a part of like let's say a fifty all stars varsity team wins, all the first, second, third grade fifty all stars teams all show up, and like we have like cheerleaders and make it like super exciting, just like the NBA. Should we do that? Should we do that? So I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of losers. I get it. Anyways, let me know that. Think about it. Uh, let, me, let me know at practice what you guys think about that. But it's a pretty crazy thing. You just want to hype up kids, I suppose. But let me know what you think. In the meantime, don't forget that our quote of the day is... Inches make champions. That's, that's all my time. I will see you all later. And um, if you're coming to workouts tonight, I'll see you then. All right, y'all. Peace out. Mm. Hi. Breathing true kit on this madness, yo. Yeah. Uh. Nairobi, are you ready for this? I don't think so. Go get ready, big man team. My people crazy, you better like it. Go get ready, my people crazy, you better like it. Uh. Good, wonder. It's a dust of thing I never surrender. Pretty girl, good, wonder. It's a dust of thing I never surrender. Go get busy, man. It's a freaky time. That's how we do it, man. It's a party time. Yeah, uh, we can end it, but what, baby? It's a dust I'll take a ribu to caliente. Give me this run fight, girl, uh huh. I mean, it's a gun call, girl, uh. You know the business, I'm dangerous. My trigger on the bat, it's the party just started. My body's in a hurry, I yeah. enter, enter. Looking for a badder. Boy, in the place, ain't nobody badder. Enter, enter. Looking for a badder. Boy, in the place, ain't nobody badder. I be, I'm a bigger man, careful, 